very easy hopefully they all go in that easy wouldn't that be wonderful what are you doing now Simon just checking it's, uh, it's long enough or rather close enough to the other fence to be able to fix it if we want to place some nailing <laughs> It's hard work. Proper manual labour. <laughs> oh, so we were going to be working on the back of the stable and sorting out all the gutter in there, but. After we had our surprise caravan delivery, we've now realised that we need to protect the caravan from Hope's Bottom. <sighs> oh, she's been scrubbing a bum on the caravan, as you do, leaving chunks of her tail in it. <sighs> so, we were going to put up this fence anyway because it's to contain the dogs primarily but now we've had to rush the putting up of the fence so that we can protect the caravan because I'll be honest with you I really like that caravan I really love having the caravan we've had a rest going to record the next bit from a different angle so it's not so boring well, I suppose, if you're still watching this far through the video, then uh, you must really enjoy watching this boring stuff. <laughs> Simon, do you think it's boring? No, not at all. It's best way to spend a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> move the rope again we haven't got a proper plumb line we've just got one of these yeah. I think it's like um climbers rope so I'm gonna move it down a bit So I'm going to put it on this one. Let me tie in this. And it's okay to slow the ride. So now we can put the last one in. Hopefully it's the last one on this side. I've tied the end to Bruce's mini roots layer. So 
Just lining it up. Is that right there? Yeah, I know. I think I'll put you over here now. Another angle. So it goes all the way up to there now. But what we want to do now is turn pretty much a 90 degree angle so that it goes down there to the edge of the stable. So it's basically a great big square, a bit of a rectangle. Right, so. I'm going to need my plumb line rope thingy. I go over to the edge of the stable. Ooh, see if I can tie it onto something there. Hmm. Might tie it to the bench actually. Right, so we'll tie it to the end of here. Huh? Oh, I just thought that's more solid, isn't it? What are you going to tie it in a line? Is it not in a line? It's to it. It's a bit slack. Oh yeah, I'm going to tie it to... I haven't moved the spade. Okay. I've just tied it to there first. Oh. So, my plan now is to tie the rope to the post. there and straight down there. There's four posts left, hey? Is that the perfect amount of posts? I don't know. We shall find know. barbed wire on now we're gonna have a bit of a chill I, think. I do love that caravan so glad that we've got this caravan because wow I didn't think we were gonna do all this today 
I thought it was going to take us at least three weeks to pull all this up. I didn't think the posts were going to go all in all like that. Bum, bum, bum. Bish, bash, bosh. And they're all in. And I definitely didn't think we were going to put the barbed wire on it today. We are doing it slightly in a temporary way because we've got to get some gates and put gates in and things like that. <sighs> yeah. So there will be some changes. But at the minute, this is really good. It means the grass can grow. I've bought a load of grass seed so that we can sort out regrass in this place. Yeah, it's good. I'm glad. I'm really, really pleased. Thank you, Angel. Do you reckon the height down from the top of these posts is about right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Which side do you have it? The outside. This side, outside. So they're at about 20 centimetres. I'll say about 15 centimetres. <laughs> 15, 15 centimetres. That's six inches, so that's uh, about right, do you reckon? Yep. I like that. Yeah. Do you want me to go along and mark it all the way along? We didn't think we were going to get this far today. So, <laughs> we haven't got the right tools. The barbed wire's got like this little clip to hold the roll together. So we're trying to get that off. With our emergency tool. The emergency tool is awesome. There we go. So we've measured 15 centimetres down, 150 mil from the top of the post, and then we've measured 65 centimetres down, or 650 mil. Um, and we're just going to run the barbed wire all the way along. We're only putting two strands of barbed wire on. Um, one because it might be temporary if we're going to post and rail it so we can add rails on later and two we want to add some kind of mesh so that the dogs can't get out because this is to one protect the caravan two keep the dogs in three so I've got somewhere to have the hay dropped off so I don't have to give them a full round bale every single time which has got an absolute fortune because they are literally just smashing it into the ground. Look at that, that is all the wasted hay that they have just smashed into the ground. And I bet you there's at least two bales there, full bales worth. So hopefully that will stop that as well. You're gonna need gloves, sailing. Oh. Here, put it in the bucket. I thought it was spin in the bucket. See, the bucket's been.
Put a couple of staples in there just to. Uh, I don't think anything's going to catch itself on there. I'm thinking, if I get the crowbar, I can use the end of the crowbar to pull the barbed wire tight. Now do you want to rough it around the post? No. Just stake it straight up? Yeah. But if I pull it with this, we'll get it locked in there. I can pull it tight, can't I? You've got to get it on the pedestal yeah. line there. There you go. Go about there? Yeah. In quite quickly. Let me change your angle. I'm playing everyone I mean, but somehow you were bulletproof. This is quite professional <laughs> considering we don't know what we're doing. So far, so good. To put you down somewhere less muddy. the right tools we didn't have anything to like stretch the barbed wire but we've done it like I said earlier we will need to change this not too much it's very temporary at the minute we are going to be adding mesh for the dogs stop the dogs from escaping from this Obviously, if it was just barbed wire, they'd just run straight under it. But yeah, have a look and I'll show you our amazing work. Simon's trying to save the little boy who has got himself locked in. Is he silly? Silly boy. Are you stuck, little boy? We've got to put some kind of racing post on there. Dreams escaped, finally. So, we will have to put a bracing post on there because it's a corner post. So we'll do that this week at some point. It's taken nine, one, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's taken ten posts and about 60 foot of barbed wire. Meters. Is it meters? Oh. And about 60 meters of barbed wire. The rolls come in a hundred meters. 
I think it's feet, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we've still got to add the wire for the dogs and we're going to have to put in an access gate. Eventually, we'll have to put a 12 foot gate in so that the tractor can get in and out if we need the tractor to do anything in the field like harrowing or rollering. But each of the posts is 12 foot apart so that we can put the gate anywhere we like. So we don't need to decide straight away where we want to put it. And then we're just going to put a temporary gate in the corner where the stable is. Just so we can get the horses in and out so they can mow it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for other videos.